The critics are enchanted with the Disney Channel's Jim Henson's Mother Goose Stories. I love it. The LA Times described it as a captivating new half-hour series for young children. This is wonderful. It's delightful Muppet magic that the Daily News called quality work that neither patronizes nor exploits its audience. Goodness. And from USA Today, a charming series for wee ones. Join us Saturday mornings for Jim Henson's Mother Goose Stories. Something magical's happening to weekday mornings. What's all the fuss? They're here. The Care Bear series is coming to the Disney Channel. Yay! Every day, it's another amazing bear adventure. Care Bears, stay! as they fight for goodness everywhere. So join the crowd. I'm in. Oh, I'm in. And start your day with the Care Bears. They just might surprise you. Premiering Monday, October 1st at 7.30 a.m. Eastern and Pacific. Beginning Monday, October 1st, the Disney Channel lights up with shows that are sure to make your early afternoons more fun than ever. Wait till the gang hears about this. The fun begins every weekday at 12 noon with Lunchbox. At 12.30, you'll want to grab a front row seat for a music box. We've got a hot crowd here today. Then stay tuned, because at 1, there are movies, specials, and series like classic Disney moments on the best of Walt Disney Presents. Plus, every Wednesday afternoon, there's adventure for all ages when you join Sarah Pollock and Emmy Award nominee Colleen Dewhurst for the critically acclaimed series, Avonlea. I aim to make this a show to remember. And from environmental issues to plain old family fun, every afternoon at 2, don't miss the excitement on Danger Bay. Well, that's a good idea. So don't miss a minute of the fun beginning Monday, October 1st, all times Eastern and Pacific. Dateline, the Walt Disney Studios. Fifty years ago, American movie audiences saw the premiere of a film that was unlike any other. A marriage of classical music and incomparable Disney animation called Fantasia. It was a project that started back in 1938 with the chance meeting of Walt Disney and world-famous conductor Leopold Stokowski. It began at Chasen's restaurant in uh, Hollywood, a very famous restaurant. And one night in 1938, according to Stokowski in his memoirs, he talks about the fact that he was dining alone. And he saw Disney across the way dining alone, so he invited him to join them. They should talk, because he admired his films. So they were talking, and Disney mentioned he's going to do uh, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, based on the Dukas piece. And Stokowski had a very great interest in anything that had to do with classical music in the movies. And Stokowski uh, said to Disney, well, why not just do a whole feature of this kind of thing and just use The Sorcerer's Apprentice as one of them? Stokowski suggested the title Fantasia, a musical term for a fanciful or unusual composition, and it fit this new production perfectly. Some of the animation in Fantasia is some of the best animation ever done anywhere, period. Uh, Fifty years later, there's still been nothing to equal it. Stokowski himself conducted the music for this Academy Award-winning film, which also marked the very first use of stereo sound. Fifty years ago, I would have walked in there knowing what I know today, and I wouldn't have believed what they were doing. They sat around and said, let's come up with stereo. These people started from scratch, and what they did is unbelievable. For Fantasia's 50th anniversary, a two-year painstaking restoration of its original negative and soundtrack was undertaken. We tried to go back to the original negative in every case we could to get the best quality. So it was really a jigsaw puzzle. We have to go through every frame and remove any dirt or foreign substance, some of which has been in there since the manufacture of the film. Uh, this can be sort of a microsurgery project with a razor blade and a magnifier. It's, not, uh, not work for an unsteady hand. Now, today's audiences can see a better Fantasia than even the original. As Walt Disney's classic, Fantasia returns to movie theaters for its golden anniversary. And for a more detailed look at what went into the making of Fantasia, don't miss the behind-the-scenes special, Fantasia, the creation of a Disney classic, airing here on the Disney Channel. <laughs> Grab a front row 
front row seat for the Disney Channel's Fall Celebration. We're bringing home the best new series, feature film classics, and special events. The celebration begins with the return of the Disney Channel's critically acclaimed Avonlea. You can't miss this. Get fired up in the afternoons as teen win-lose-or-draw returns Monday through Friday. Everybody's a winner on the Disney Channel. <laughs> the party continues with a new season of the Disney Channel's very own Mickey Mouse Club. It's magic. <laughs> And check out two brand new series for kids with Jim Henson's Mother Goose Stories. Wow, that's wonderful. And those lovable, huggable Care Bears. Plus, the hottest group in America is back. The new Kids in the Block live in your house. And we're the new home for a time-honored television tradition. Jubular! The magical world of Disney has come home to the Disney Channel where you can catch the debut of your favorite Walt Disney films, specials, and Disney Channel premiere films, including Back to Hannibal, the return of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Hi! It's good to be back! Plus a whole new generation of feature motion pictures, including Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Go home! Mom will never let me keep you! Weird family. So get ready to come home to the Disney Channel's Fall Celebration. Celebration!